guys, I knew something felt weird with the weather this morning and just when I woke up, something felt weird. I look out, everybody's out in the front yard except for old mama and Imogene. And I know why now, y'all. I'm hoping this isn't Walter Melon. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I really hope this is it. Nope, it's not Walter Mellon. Because here's Walter. Yeah. I'm not chasing you, buddy. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. She's got two. She's got two. Oh my goodness. You did it. You did it. Oh. My goodness, you did it! Oh, amazing! Yeah, I must, she did it! You only had two in there? Girl, I was for sure you had three! Oh my goodness. I am going to go get you some treats in a minute. What a beautiful morning. It's a great way to start a Monday. This baby's gorgeous. All right. So y'all, y'all saw how the stuff went with honeydew. Um, uh, I'm a, I'm going to Ooh, thoughts. Um, my immediate thoughts is this one right here, standing, doing good. This one, vocal, which is great. Beautiful. Hey, yeah, Walter's over here with me, honey. Walter wants to be a part of the baby crew. Um, they're not wet. She won't let me touch her, which, which is fine. Um, she appears to be done. Um, I see placenta right here. Hopefully somebody will come and eat that. If not, I'm going to check on it throughout the day. And if nobody eats it, we always give them the opportunity to eat it. I will go and bury it somewhere because you want to get rid of placenta. So, let's see. Oh, I want to call you speckles. Just already. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Let's see what we got here. Boy or girl? Boy or girl? Oh, you're a boy. Okay, let's stand you up. Yeah, let's stand you up. Whoa, you're big. All right, you're new. You're new because you're having a trouble standing. That's okay. You're a little weak. Let's get you by mama. 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 Okay. Okay. You can you can still lay down a little bit. That's okay. What do we got? Here? Whoa! 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 Oh, mama. Yeah. Okay. This is not good. She is not happy. I'm just checking on the baby. Whoa! Ow! She just rammed me! Oh, mama. It's okay. <coughs> it's okay. You have to let me check them, though. Oh, she had two boys. Okay. What's going on here? Yeah. We need to figure out what's going on with this baby. I haven't seen either drink, but pretty big belly so probably full <laughs> it's okay so I already have some concerns and maybe they're uh, maybe it's a little too early to have some concerns but um, you know with babies you always want to be you know extra cautious hey Walter so Imogene is over here I'm not sure why I don't think she's interrupting anything. They're both very vocal, which is good. Yeah. I've seen this white one stand, that little boy. I have not seen this one stand yet. I even tried to help it. It wasn't really good, so it might still be new. Um, I'm gonna try to get Imogene to come with me. Mom is being very, very, very attentive. Very good mom. Um, when I picked baby up, she wasn't happy about it, but then she started cleaning him um, from my hands. She's obviously okay with Imogene here. She doesn't have a problem with that. So what I'm actually gonna do is, 
I'm gonna step away. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna try to get Imogene to come with me, but then I'm gonna step away and just keep an eye and see what happens. All right, y'all. So I ended up moving the babies. I didn't want to, that's Walter. I'm gonna try to get to an angle where you can see them. I don't wanna go in there, but um, yeah, this just not what I wanna see. Got two babies laying down and a mom laying down. So, here's my game plan. I'm almost finished with my chores. I really need to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna go inside, give, them, give her probably 30 minutes alone. See what happens, cause I'm not gonna be able to get her into a stall. Let's put it that way. She's, she fights way too much. It's, it would take a lot of help. Um, guys, I've seen a lot of goats. I'm no expert, but I've, I've, I've been, I've been with the goat baby parade, you know, I've done it. And I'm already just like with honeydew, I'm having instincts, something in my brain and in my heart is telling me you need to pull. And I'm not saying I need to pull one, I'm thinking I need to pull two because I've watched baby boy try to get milk and she wasn't really feeling it. So I'm not liking this. Um, I'm gonna give them time though and just hope she's in shock. I don't think she's a first time mom. That's the crazy thing. Guys, with it being so hot, honestly, I would rather than be on mom. Um, we're trying to tame Walter Melon down and it's going pretty good. So I have faith that we can make them friendly without bottle feeding. Um, it would just add a lot to our plate right now. Um, we can, but if mom is taking care of them, I'm not necessarily right now in a rush to bottle feed, but I don't want to pull them. I really don't. But I'm not feeling too good about what I'm seeing right now, and that worries me. So, it's hard. I'm scared to lose another. Really scared to lose another. Um, yeah, I'll check on them soon. Be back with another update. So I had the other, I have the other baby inside right now um, because I was trying to give him some milk. But oh, baby boy's peeing. That's good. That means he's drank. So that's good. We've got mama in here. Even though the situation with the other baby's not great, being it could be paralyzed, I'm gonna bring it out here for a little bit while I'm doing chores and see if mom is still accepting or fully rejecting. Um, We'll see. But for right now, this is this is home for them. So I can monitor. I'm gonna go get the other baby now. Y'all, I was just about to tell y'all kind of where this goat situation is going and how I'm feeling about it. So I'm gonna let Ellie take care of kind of everything with the um, little goat that isn't standing very well. Um, he actually went to the vet alone, not with me. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, thank God I didn't go. Like seriously, I was so tired and I think it was God truly protecting one of our animals because I told you that Hey Hey um, had a really hard time. In another video, I talked about how Hey Hey almost had like a heat stroke. And if Ellie hadn't gone to the vet or if I had gone to the vet with Ellie, Hey Hey would have died. And for some reason I had this nagging feeling that, you know what, you're exhausted. You need to stay home. And so I did, and thank goodness, because not even 30 minutes after Ali left, I went to go check on Hey Hey, and that's when everything was going south. He's okay, he's okay, but that's kind of where we're at. And so I'm gonna let him kind of handle that goat, and I guess now I have my own goat to handle. Don't mind the poop, we just laid a fresh one, Mama Carrie did. So this is old Mama's other baby. Now, she's very attentive, right? She's very good, um, but Upon noticing this morning, baby boy looks, baby boy number two. <laughs> um, I don't have a name for him yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out now. Um, he looks very skinny, a lot skinnier compared to last night. Um, it's not a latching issue, but I did notice this. Look at all of that, okay? He was fine last night because we took him out of the stall, him and her out of the stall late last night, and we cleaned the shavings off his butt. His butt was clean. So that means while he was out here, he did all these poopings and mama's not cleaning them. 
I'm not going to blame her or anything. Sometimes these things just happen. It happen. I want him to stay on her. It has been, he's gotten enough colostrum and passive transfer, so we're good. Um, it's been about two days. I'd like to keep him on her longer. I might milk her, but I'm actually going to pull him and bring him inside with his brother. Um, I'm going to make arrangements for them um, until I feel like they can do well in the heat. I need the other one to stand before it can come outside stand or at least know that we're clear from the vet to be outside. Um, but this one's going to have to come inside and honestly get a bath. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. It's not what I want to do. I wanted to be able to at least keep one for her, especially since she's got a milk bag, but we might just have to, well, yeah, see guys, she just give her space. See if she does it. She just went to smell that and she hasn't taken care of that. That's a lot of poo. So I'm going to take care of this and I guess you get to see me with adventures of baby number two. Down, but guys, he's like, it's not great, but he's standing. He's standing. Yeah. Let's go. Slow down. I know we need to slow down and we need to take some breaths, little baby, because you just down. Well, you didn't. You're not downing it as quickly as I thought. Look at you go. Look at you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna feed you next. You are doing so good. Y'all, it's so early, but this is what makes it worth it. It's earlier than I normally get out here, but this makes it so worth it. it really does. Sorry, I'm watching Hey Hey. Yeah. Um, honestly, I kind of want to get a lounge chair, like a pool chair. That's a cat and just come sit in front of this fan with them and lay with them all day. I think that might be really nice. I might convince Ellie to go with the, to the store with me to do that. Okay, big boy. guys so sorry for the horrible video quality it's nighttime and you know if you want more updates for the main like understanding of this storyline you're gonna have to go watch Ellie's channel at flip flop farmer if you didn't already know <laughs> but y'all I'm already getting attached to these babies like here's a little man who wasn't walking just a few days ago is now trucking it over me and then here's the other little guy oh oh you fell down can you stand back up I'm gonna let you stand back up on your own because I know you can do it I know you can do it you're <laughs> this is the thing you get with bottle babies it's nowhere near his feed time and he has a tendency to overeat if you let him so and I know what y'all are gonna think they can't overeat. Yeah, they can. They definitely can. And we do not want to overfeed him. We're getting him caught up how he needs. But I'm going to let him suck there for a little bit. But the other little boy is here. And as you can see, his booty is so, so clean. And I don't know what it is, but just he's been pooping better in here. I don't, I don't know. But I think pulling him from mom 
sad decision, but it's been also what's best for this little guy because they've been cuddling up under here because being outside has helped Mr. Hero so, so much. It's really nice out here. I'm sitting, we've got a little fan and I've got a towel and I'm just laying out here with the babies. Oh, you stood. I so, so proud of you. I was afraid to get attached to him because of honeydew, but man, oh man. How can you not? How can you not? Just, it's going to town. My finger is going to be pruned. Also, this is the weirdest feeling in the world. I don't know if you've ever felt this before. Maybe some of you have. Um, it's really weird. Dude's got a hard suction. Like, really hard suction. Yeah, you didn't get anything from that. I'm sorry, buddy. I wish I could sprout milk from my fingers for you. We still need to give this little guy a name. I'm not liking any of the things I've come up with. You've got to stop biting me. You've got like four more hours until your feed. Like you just were fed not too long ago. But I don't, I don't know. There's not any names that seem like they're fitting him. I was joking around about calling him Victor because these babies have turned out to be quite the victory. And we've got Mr. Hero over here, and I just think it'd be really funny. I walk around calling Walter Melon Walter. I'm like, Walter! And then there's Victor! Victor! But um, I don't think that really suits him. He's a handsome guy, though. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my take so far on what we've gotten on the baby goats. First video from me of them. Good boy. Um, you know first it was kind of like I don't want to be too too attached so you know I was trying to be a little bit more withdrawn and I know that's not like me but honey's passing is still fresh on the mind okay there you go have another finger but I'm seeing now that honey would want me to love on these babies and they still deserve all the love and I was just trying to work through my own grief but now I'm here to love them I'm here to love them yes couldn't stay away for too long but you guys so you guys I wasn't originally going to post about this in this video but so much has happened and this video happened a little bit ago and um, hold on I need to get the air cold so obviously this is mr. hero um, what I didn't want to do any confusion or have any confusion so I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this in right here he's about to pee right here um, so you saw the second baby boy who guys still doesn't have a name so please suggestions please he was in the yard with us um, with hero but he wasn't drinking as much from a bottle as I needed him to and so I was having to take him back to mom to supplement him and it was just sad to continuously take him away and all of that and I know what you're gonna say that probably wasn't the best idea but we were just doing what we thought was best for everyone and so we ultimately, for one night, tried moving old mama in the yard with Hero and baby boy. And it worked, but it just, we had Miss Thang come in. So she is a friend for Hero, for sure. And so we didn't need old mama and the baby boy to stay in the yard. So we went ahead and let them back in the pasture. So just a heads up, if you see in anybody else's videos, you see that baby boy in the pasture and you see my video today and you're like, well, what happened? That, that's it. We just did some moving around and trying some things to do what's best. And ultimately, baby boy number two ended up back in the pasture with mom. So, yeah. And Mr. Hero hangs out with Miss Nelly and mama, huh? Yeah. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. Is it nap time, baby boy, now that you ate? You ate a whole 10 ounces. He's milk drunk, guys. All right, guys, but as I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that clears some things up. I will catch you next time with another video. Bye, friends.